So types of dental processes. We are only studying two types, complete denders as well as partial denders. So complete denders, when a person has had all of their teeth removed, we must make complete denders for the patient person to wear. When the teeth are removed, we are left with a ridge of bone on the upper as well as lower part of our mouth, which we can use to put the false teeth or dentures. So when all teeth are being removed, we can see a ridge of bone in the upper part as well as in the lower part. So that area we can take to put the, these false teeth or, or as well as dentures. The lower denter always takes a little more time for most patients to get used, used to for two reasons. One is lack of height of the bone in the lower area as well as the presence of tongue in the lower area. So meanwhile upper area there is no presence of tongue, tongue is always landed. So in that case these are the two reasons which is telling uh, for adjustment with the lower denter. Uh, the tongue increases in size in an edentulous mouth. If edentulous mouth means lack of teeth in a mouth. So in that kind of uh, situation the tongue will increase its size. So when we replace a uh, an artificial teeth it resists the new encumbrance. So encumbrance means new burden. So it's considered as just a burden and it will resist it. So in the upper ridge, however, there is no such interference. So advantages of uh, complete dentures, long term experience over the year, relatively low cost, tolerated by most people, will restore missing teeth and lost ridge as well as gums, functions and appearance is restored, aesthetically it is good. So what are the disadvantages? Cause pressure that result in underlying bone resorption and soreness. Removability, it is not fixed like natural teeth. So it, it is having looseness. Sometimes stage problems can be affected. Speech problems also can be seen. Taste problems also can be seen. Only less chewing or biting can be produced. So these are the disadvantages of complete Mm, complete dentures. Coming to the other type, removable partial dentures. Partial dentures. So an important step in maintaining a healthy smile is to replace missing teeth. So when teeth are missing, the remaining one, remaining teeth can change the position and drift to the surrounding space. So when they drift to the surrounding space, the position Mm, that, that changed position can damage the tissues in the mouth. So that should be prevented by uh, early replacement of the partial dentures. So in addition, it may be difficult to clean thoroughly between crooked teeth. As a result, the risk of tooth decay and periodontal disease increases. So leads to the loss of additional teeth. So these particular removable partial dentures replace some lost teeth. So whenever there is lost teeth in between, uh, there is chance that the food particles can lodge and very difficult to remove also. So as soon as possible, we have to replace the lost teeth with the dentures. Otherwise, uh, those kind of persons are risk to get decay to the other uh, healthy teeth as well as gum diseases. So this is one of the uh, type of partial removable dentures. So instructions for patients with dentures. Learning to wear a new denture can take time. So don't become discouraged if found some difficulty in the beginning. Dentist will help if any difficulties are there during this time. All those things we should inform to the old age person. A lower denture usually takes more time to adjust than an upper denture. The tongue may feel restricted and will tend to play always. So you can imagine yourself. When we do, so some uh, doc, uh, some what root canal, 
D K and chit and down. So after going back to the home, what we used to do? A tango change and mookie gondi riga. Avada, avada touchy gondi riga. Similarly, here also the tongue may feel restricted and will tend to play. Sometimes even subconsciously, subconsciously with the new processes, this may happen. So it will soon adapt to the restriction and to the new feelings that a denture present. So it is natural to experience the fullness of the mouth with the new dentures. So expect to have excessive flow of saliva. At first, patient will have a feeling of looseness, especially lower denture. Later, will get adjusted to it. So all those things should be explained to the person, old age person. So try to eat only soft foods for the first couple of days. So then progress to the more solid foods. foods. Try to eat very slowly attempting to place even small amount of food on both sides even amount of foods on both sides at the same time during the chewing time so by place placing food on both sides of the mouth at the same time patient can balance the biting forces on the new denture and will help to make it more stable so while eating tell the patient person to have more even amount of food in both sides so that it will become more stable. The longer it takes to eat the meal, the faster we we'll learn to master the new processes. So there will be soreness over the gum and ridge. It may take time to stabilize the gum tissue against a hard plastic surface of the denture. So it is common that when a new thing is using, uh, there will be soreness. When we use a new chapel, we used to experience. Similar thing can happen. Mucous membrane is uh, little more softer it is much softer while comparing to the skin so while cleaning brush the denture each day to remove the food deposits and plaque use water soap or toothpaste or denture paste which is available in the market brushing denture helps to prevent the permanently stains of the dentures so rinse the denture under water after meals to remove loose food debris so three times meals we used to take so after each each uh, meals or fooding we have to wash it under the water so that is all about dentures next video we will be studying about hearing aids